gotta be kidding me. I'm just charging what I gotta charge to stay in business. Hey, things are tough for everyone. We can't afford to pay these prices. Hey, hey, let's all calm down. What? You're taking the soldier's side? I can't believe this. Stop it. Carla. Hey, I know you. You're close with His Highness. What exactly is your connection to Gaius? He just summons me here sometimes, that's all. I heard he was away, so I came to see if everything was all right. Well, you were certainly right to be concerned. I'm afraid so. With King Gaius and the Chimeriad gone, the domestic stability of Aljul is beginning to unravel. But I still can't believe that things have regressed this far, this quickly. It's simply pathetic. Is it that bad? Clearly, the weak must be tended to, constantly, or they'll disrupt everything. I guess it's too much to ask for everyone to grow strong. It's hopeless. Hold on. Maybe they'll never know what it's like to be as strong as Gaius, but that doesn't make them hopeless. How can you deny it? You see what's happening here. My brother Erston sacrificed his family for these people, and this is what happens? Wait, what? You're Gaius' sister? Yes, you wanted to know Gaius' real name? It's Erston Outway. I believe that my brother forged his philosophy partly as a way to atone for what he did to me. That's why he wanted to be the king. And because of that, I thought I could forgive him. But looking at this, I don't know anymore. If this is what his efforts amounted to, then give me my brother back! Hey, come on. If the guard's undermanned, I can help out. I, I know my way around a sword. But only official soldiers are allowed to fight. Hey, it's obvious we're gonna need some help to get through this. Listen, I'll talk to the other unions about the skyrocketing food prices. But if this situation drags on, things will only get worse. That doesn't mean you can't do anything about it. The boy is right. Forget about what we can't do and let's focus on what we can. Dude. I hate to say it, but I think we have to face the facts. Everything King Gaius did was for naught. Are you sure about that? Lady Carla. We may not be the kind of people that King Gaius would consider strong. But that doesn't mean we can't do for ourselves the same things that he's always done for us. Yeah, the ears. I want to know that I've done everything that I can, so I can hold my head high when King Gaius returns. Thank you, all of you. If the news of my identity spreads, it will only make trouble for King Gaius. We'll probably never see each other again, but I'm glad I was able to meet all of you. Farewell. I suppose we should be going ourselves. Jude, seeing you follow your own path has helped me erase any doubts I had about mine. Maybe that's the same thing Gaius felt when he first met you. So how you like them apples? Carla is Gaius' sister. So yes, all those stories that she's told us about his her brother Erston, that was all Gaius. You know, the whole thing where he fought through the arena when he was 12 years old without using a Lilium Orb. And he won. And he won! That was all him. And he's much stronger now than he ever had, than he ever has been. So that's just giving you an idea of the kind of guy we're trying to fight right now to save the world. Oh man, what the fuck? That shit, when I saw that the first time I played through this, I was like, oh god, who are we fighting? So anyway, heading back to, well not... Was it for Gondola? No, wait, I meant Fezabel Marsh. I don't know why. <laughs> they both start with Fs. I don't even care.
It's difficult to believe this whole area used to be a dry wasteland. We were taught a great tsunami did this 20 years ago. It was right when the former king of Ajul was leading his army into battle against Rashigal. Wait, Rowan, you were a tactician in that battle, weren't you? I'm pretty sure we hammered this in already. Yes, I was. It's hard to believe it's already been so long. This is the place where Princess Kerry died. Noctagal's sister. Even he wouldn't dare to defy her. If she was still alive, Rashigal's history would have turned out quite a bit differently. She must have been a fearsome woman if she could keep Noctagal in check. Quite the opposite. She was a gentle, easygoing soul. Noctagal was always at his kindest around her. But her gentle demeanor masked an indomitable spirit. The meek had no greater ally than her. She even chose to accompany the army as a medic, so that she could save as many lives as possible. A princess working as a medic? She must have been one hell of a woman. Estelle, I'm looking at you. Unfortunately, her story did not end happily. Their brothers feared Noctagal would distinguish himself by leading Rashagal to victory. So instead, they revoked his authority to lead the army just before the battle began. In his place, they sent an incompetent buffoon of a general who squandered every advantage Rashagal had. Why would they do that? They must have feared Noctagal more than their own enemies. Just as Rashagal was facing defeat, the tsunami came and forced the remnants of both armies to retreat. But Princess Kerry's unit was among the unlucky ones that were caught in the wave. It was a grave error on my part. Amidst the confusion, I didn't notice that her unit was in the path of danger. If I had given her unit clearer orders, Kerry would still be alive. Wait a minute. Were you two together? We were worlds apart in both age and class. But we had pledged our futures to each other. Noctagall was the only one who approved of our union. But that's an old story. And one perhaps best forgotten. So here we are back in Triglyph, and I swear to God, Leia, if you say something right now, that's a big house. Pop quiz! How many people do you think live in one of those giant houses in Triglyph? Have you always liked pop quizzes this much? I've never noticed after all this time. Oh, I know. Did your love of pop quizzes awaken while I was dead? She's always liked pop quizzes. Oh. <laughs> a dialogue between worlds also did this pop up while i was dead that is the weirdest thing i think i've ever heard i get so nervous talking to people in olympias don't be afraid they're people just like us try to speak to as many people as you can gotta pump them for info information is important but learning to understand and appreciate each other, that is our top priority. So yeah, we have a couple side quests here that we still have to turn in, along with some new ones. Excuse me, have you seen an elderly woman around here? I was out shopping with my mother, but we got separated. Her hair and eyes look just like mine. Unfortunately, we don't know this city very well. There you are, Lem. What are you doing here? What sort of child is still getting lost when she's 18 years old? Me? You're the one who got lost. Did you forget where we were supposed to meet? Oh, did I? Honestly, I don't know how you keep a nursing job when you can't even stick to a simple schedule. <laughs> it's nice to see that Olympians are as human as we are. No kidding. Carrie? Carrie, it's you. You're alive. Wait. Noctagall's sister? Oh, yes. My name is Carrie. But I'm afraid I don't know who you are. You... You don't? I'm sorry. I can't remember anything from my childhood. When I washed up on a beach here 20 years ago, all I could remember was my name. There's beaches here? Wait. Do you know who my mother used to be? Um, no. 
I merely met her once before, when I was working with her husband. Oh, are you in the military too? Forgive me for not recognizing you. You meet so many people as a soldier's wife. No, no apologies necessary. It was a long time ago. May I ask where your husband is? He's away on an expedition right now. I haven't heard from him in a long time, but I'm not worried. Ever since he found me 20 years ago, Julius has never broken a promise he's made to me. Uh, Mom, could you stop gushing to complete strangers? <laughs> okay, okay. But it is true, you know. Come on, we need to get going. Nice meeting you all. Hey. When the schism was breached 20 years ago, the tsunami must have brought Carrie all the way here to Olympias. Aren't you going to go after her? I... I don't know what I would say to her after all these years. I don't even know how to feel about this. Let's go visit Drusel. I hope Lady Drusel is faring well. Why not go to the manor and see? Drusel must be worried sick about you. Oh, <laughs> worried about me? Oh my. I do hope she doesn't perceive me as being that old. <laughs> Actually, we might want to make our way to the port because I forgot there was a subquest that we did where we were hunting like those shadow, shadow hunter guys. And yeah, I forgot to talk to this guy again. Hello there. Well done, we made excellent progress today, but still not enough to restore peace to this uncertain world of ours. To do that, we'll continue to need the help of under upstanding citizens like yourselves. You know, we're not even from this world, so anyway. Mystery mask and 11,000 gold. Wait a minute, mystery mask? Mask worn by a villain in a famous swashbuckling action play. That's an aura of mystery to the wearer. I don't know, this sounds, that looks more like something you wear if you want to keep your identity hidden in one of those clubs or something. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I wouldn't even know. I've never been to those clubs. I'm just making assumptions here. <laughs> anyway. We're going to be heading back to the apartments because I think we still got to talk to Balin and we're going to be checking around for any other subquests here. You know, while we're here. Worried about Drissel. I wonder what Drissel is doing now. She's probably busy missing you. I do hope the loss of Lord Klein hasn't been too hard on her. There was a family of cows beneath the tree at the top of the hill, with one bull and two sows. That's Musée's voice! I thought Musée was with Gaius! We should check inside! No, wait. There's a human in there with her. We need to be careful. When Billy found them, he said, Hey, which one's the wife and which one's the mistress? What kind of story is this? What are you doing? Let's go. Where's Muse? I know she was here. I don't know. Are you friends of hers? Did Muse leave already? Are you okay? You seem a little bit off, Granny. Muse must have gone out the window. Are you better now? Yes, sweetheart. Thank you. Your eyes. I appreciate your concern, dear. Can you see us? I can sense you. I may be blind to light, but I've learned how to see other things. I need to ask you something. I know Muse was here. What was she doing? Before I answer, could you explain to me why you're so interested in her? Well... Mila is Musée's sister! Elise? Shh! Let's just make this easy for everyone, okay? Musée's sister? Yes! Very well, since it sounds like you don't mean Musée any harm. 
I first met her five years ago, when my daughter and I were involved in a terrible accident. Musée happened to be there, and she saved my life. Unfortunately, my daughter was not so lucky. She saved your life? <laughs> she told me she only did it on a whim. But even though I had survived, I had lost my will to live. My beloved daughter, who had read to me every day, was gone. But one day, I asked Muse if she would read to me instead. And she said yes? She did. But I could tell that she hated it at first. Just another of her whims, I suppose. No way! I can't believe it. She is a very kind girl, you know? And a little bit timid, but I suppose that's true of most girls her age. I'm sure you have your reasons for chasing her. I certainly won't try to stop you. But if I may, I'd ask that you please try not to hurt her. Mila? I understand how you feel. Good. That's wonderful. Why are you smiling? I'm just relieved to hear that. Oh, shit, Muse. Pray that you and Muse can get along. If you do see Muse, ask her which one was the wife and which one was the mistress. Da 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 da. But yeah, holy crap, Muse. Also, I was I went to the third floor because uh, I guess. No, I actually know there's a couple sub quests right here, and I think there's one in here. I've got to find a way to push the Otherworld reactor plan forward. Were you involved in the plan's creation? Hmm? And who might you all be? Oh, we're from Riza Max. I'm a relative of Gilland Yul's event. I was hoping you could educate this group about the Otherworld Reactor Plan. You're with Gilland? Oh, I apologize for my rudeness. I work at the Department of Otherworld Affairs. Figured it'd go smoother this way. I presume your department deals with issues related to Riza Maxia? Correct. As you're no doubt aware, we Olympians have passed down legends of another world since antiquity. Every kid knows the story of the spirit Maxwell and the utopia he created for his followers, Riza Maxia. But from around the time I was born, scholars and politicians started taking that story seriously. Correct. That was because we detected an unusual distortion in space. Our research suggested that vast amounts of energy could be circulating beyond the distortion. That discovery led to the creation of the Department of Otherworld Affairs' predecessor, the Next Gen Energy Bureau. They developed equipment to widen the distortion and study what was on the other side. Things were going well at first. Then the equipment went haywire, and a passenger ship near the experimental site, the ESS Anethra, disappeared without a trace. The incident 20 years ago. Everyone thought the experiment had failed, but it hadn't. Several years later, we received a transmission straight from Gilland. He told us that he and the Zenithra had been sucked into the other world, and that he had since created a device that could punch a hole through the spatial distortion. And that he found a solution to Olympias's energy problems to boot. That's right. His plan was to use the energy circulating throughout this other world as a reactor. So what will happen to the people on that world? Are you with the anti-governmentalists? Right now, the opposition party is using the issue of Otherworld people's rights as a shield to try and block the Otherworld reactor plan. Yet they have no alternative solution for our energy problem. Olympias has long since passed the point where we can solve our problems with idealistic jargon. So you supported the Otherworld reactor plan fully aware of the consequences? You're damn right I did. And I continue to support it wholeheartedly. Forget it, Mila. There's no point in trying to change his mind. I know. My duty remains unchanged. Do everything I can to stop the plan from succeeding. Yeah, that about does it for that plan. <laughs> I don't think we ever hear about that plan ever again, but then again, I'm not sure. Yep, I just checked through the event list right now. That was the only thing about the Otherworld Reactor plan that we ever hear for the rest of the game. 
<laughs> oh shit. Oh, that is that just got abandoned really quick, didn't it? I imagine you must know lots of embarrassing stories about Alvin. I do. In fact, embarrassing stories might be the only Alvin stories I know. This I gotta hear. Shall I tell you one? One more word and you're dead to me forever. Well now, this is a conundrum. I know. How about a bet? Truly, an Olympian's answer to everything. Now, now, Alfred, you know better than that. Gambling is a long and proud Olympian tradition. It has some bad points, but it has good ones, too. Would we be betting money? Certainly not. We can choose to bet anything we like. For example... We could bet on whether or not you can find a light leaf clover. If you can, you win. And I'll air out some of Alfred's dirty laundry. What's a light leaf clover? It's a clover with golden leaves that grows on the sides of roads. Olympians consider it a good luck charm. I've heard they once grew along Rasal High Road. Then this should be a piece of cake. You got yourself a bet, buddy. So betting is a hollowed Olympian tradition? I'm a little intrigued myself. Okay, let's go check out Rusal High Road. Hey, wait a minute. It's been ages since a lightleaf clover was seen on the high road, and some say they might be extinct. Alfred, are you really going to waste my magnanimity? This is why I hate gambling. Finding the light leaf clover. Sounds like our best chance to find a light leaf clover is on the Rusal High Road. It's a clover with sun colored leaves, right? Let the hunt begin! And let the <laughs> sudden thing happen. Yeah, Russell High Road, Nelia Borg entrance, whatever. Now, where would it be at? Actually, I might not. I can't really remember. Okay, walking away from that. Oh wait, I think we found him. Is this a light leaf clover? Yeah, that's it. Damn it, Balin told me these things were extinct. Extinct? You thought they were extinct and let us bet anyway? No, I just... well... yeah, basically. Well, all's well that ends well. It's a miracle! We've traveled to an entirely different world, and this is what qualifies as a miracle to you? Damn, I thought we got them all, but it looks like we missed one. You there, hand over that clover if you know what's good for you. Huh? Who the heck are you? We found this fair and square. If anyone else finds a clover, we lose our bet. If you won't hand it over, we'll take it by force. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. These guys think they're a threat at this point. Who knows, they actually might be. Technician veterans. I'm gonna link up to the least for this. They got these things with the fire, so yeah, they're gonna be annoying at the very least. So, aqua sweep, and they're not weak to uh, freaking water, so screw it. I mean, they're not even weak to strong. They're not weak or strong against anything, so just beat the shit out of them. And yes, in fact, maybe even linked up to Leia to like steal some items and whatnot. Leia, get over here! Leia! Leia! God damn it! Let me steal things! Ah, uh, man, you're too late! Look, uh, okay. And you didn't even steal anything. Do they, do they even have anything stealable? Specifics? Alright, cool. Gonna try. Specific. We get it. We, over, overkill! Overkill! Trying to steal! There we go, specific. We're done here. I refuse to run away. <laughs> Man, you gave you gave us double experience, and that's all you could give us, really. Why would they just attack us like that? And what did they mean about a bet? Wait a minute. Do you know something? Best not to talk out here. Let's go back to Balin's. 
Yes! Now we get to hear an embarrassing story about Alvin! This is why I hate gambling. Da 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 da. And back to Balin once more. Let's bring the Lightleaf Clover back to Balin. And then we get our story. This is gonna be good. Yeah. Holy, I can't believe you actually found a Lightleaf Clover. If we'd have bet money, you'd have made a killing. All right, make with the embarrassing stories. Oh well, a bet's a bet. <sighs> Which one are you going to tell them? Let's make it the one about this very clover. When Alvin was five years old, he wanted to do something for Aunt Leticia's, uh, for his mother's birthday. He came up with the idea of giving her a crown made entirely out of light leaf clovers. Sounds like that could be difficult. Right, even back then they were quite hard to find. So little Alvin thought long and hard about what to do. After a lot of thought, he came up with the idea of painting regular clovers the color of light leaf clovers. That's brilliant! Is it? He gave it to Leticia before the paint was dry, and she ended up getting it all over her hair. Alvin was even more surprised at this than Leticia was, and he started bawling his eyes out. Out of habit, he buried his face in her hair as he tried to apologize, and ended up getting paint all over his face, too. The end. <laughs> That's so cute! That was a wonderful story. You really loved your mother, didn't you, Alvin? I'll get you for this, Balin. <laughs> oh, talking about Leticia has put me in the mood for one of her peach pies. Oh, they were absolute perfection. I'd give anything for one more bite, but unfortunately, it's not to be. Balin, you hang on to those memories. She may never have made it back to Olympias. But at least we can keep her memory alive. Even if you asked me to, I could never forget about her. Or about you, naturally. I'm glad I made it back. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, next up, we're heading back to Jean Du. A lonely homecoming. You two freaking Rowan! We get it! Look, just lonely homecoming first! Guess I better do something with Mom's house. And while I'm at it, I should see Isla too. So yeah, I don't think we ever got around to it, but uh... You know why they seemed like they were talking past tense about Alvin's mom? Well, here you go. This is where your mother lived, isn't it? Yeah. You're back? Hey, Isla. I got your letter. So... Mom's dead. You already buried her? That... that's right. I'm so sorry. When I got here, she had already departed. Mom... Why did you do this? I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's actually a part of me that's kind of relieved now. Gonna scold me for that? A human life is a heavy thing. If you were carrying your mother's burden for her, it's only natural that you'd feel that way. <laughs> Never thought you'd be the one to console me. All right, enough of this. Isla, how did she really die? What? If you mean the cause of death, it was a sudden paroxysm of... You don't think it was the poison? Because my mother knew that you were mixing it into her food. What? Remember how she'd have those lucid moments? She told me about the poison in a letter. She lied. If she knew about it, why did she eat? Don't strain yourself. You never were a good liar. It's... 
it's you and that group of yours' fault for trapping me here. Wait, stop. Yeah, we might want to chase after her. In pursuit of Isla, you know, if it still shows up right now. Isla went to the royal hunting grounds. Damn it. After her! 